Hey guys, what is going on? It's your boy Bumpy back on the Havoc Snark. And today, guys, it is currently July 29th, 2017. And guys, the Sky Wars update has finally been released. As you can see, guys, I am in the new Sky Wars lobby right here. As you can see, uh, it is a really cool lobby. I still like the old lobby. Uh, just letting you guys know that. But this lobby is also really cool as well. Uh, it's a more like you know, futuristic kind of theme to it. Uh, it's set up basically like the Bed Wars lobby. Um, but yeah, you have the info board and you have the leaderboards set up just like the Bed Wars lobby is. Uh, you can like click to toggle it as well. Like you can do weekly wins uh, or monthly, uh, like just a bunch of different stuff uh, that you couldn't do with the other lobby. It's it's really cool and it's kind of like a 3D effect as well. But yeah, guys, in this video, I'm basically just going to be going over a few things with the new Skywars update. We're going to check some things out, just see what the update has to offer. And uh, yeah, so guys, let's get started. All right, guys, so I already showed you the whole lobby, the new, you know, aspects to it, and the leaderboards as well. Um, but now we're actually going to go get into some in-depth things that this update has, uh, such as the kits and perks that have been added. So let's go ahead and go into the um, shop here. And uh, I don't have too many coins, so we can't really buy uh, too much stuff. Um, but they did add a few new perks uh, to the, all the game modes, like solo all the way up to like mega and ranked and teams. Um, so they did add these two perks, the Necromancer perk and the Black Magic perk. Now as you can see, the Black Magic perk has a 5% chance to get an Ender Pearl after throwing a player in the void, which is really cool in my opinion. This will like come in uh, really good handy, uh, I guess, in Solo Skywars. That'll just be another cool feature that it adds to the game. And uh, then you also have the Necromancer perk that gives you a 3% um, chance to spawn a friendly zombie on a kill. So basically, if you kill a person, uh, it gives a percent chance uh, to spawn a zombie that can help you, uh, you know, kill other players, I guess. Uh, not the best perk in the world, obviously, but uh, it's just another unique feature that they have added. Now, these perks are also available in the team and mega modes, but not in ranked. I don't think so. Uh, just because that would kind of be a little, like, just weird to have in ranked because those perks, like, can be a little OP, especially the Ender Pearl one and the zombie one that's kind of just, you know, not meant for ranked mode. But uh, it is implemented in solo, teams, and mega, so that is pretty cool. Okay, so now moving on to the kits that have been added into the modes. Let's go ahead and start off with the solo mode. Basically, we have all the other kits up here. And then after we have the princess that I have right now, uh, they have added, I think, four new kits, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there's now a second page. So uh, the three new kits on the first page are the engineer kit, the salmon kit, and the pig rider kit. And on the second page, they have the slime kit. Now, basically, what these kits do is the engineer is basically kind of like a trap kit I guess you could say uh, it's like uh, if you're into trapping you know like tapple or defib you know you could go and just get this kit and just start trapping people with all sorts of different kinds of methods because you have so much stuff with this kit um, so that's basically what that is uh, moving on to the salmon kit uh, basically, it gives you some diamond boots with Depth Strider 3 and some water buckets. This is kind of just like a uh, a water mobile kit, I guess you could say. It could uh, give some tactics to Skywars that you could use to get away from people, just improve PvP. I, I don't really know. You could do all sorts of things with this kit. Uh, moving on to the Pig Rider kit, it basically gives you a saddle, a pig egg, and uh, just a gold helmet, and a carrot on a stick. Uh, basically, you can ride your own pig around Skywars, which will be really interesting to see. Uh, when we're actually in game so that will be very interesting and finally we do have the slime kit as you can see you get feather falling iron boots and uh, 16 slime blocks so you could do uh, a variety of things this is kind of like a trampoline kit I guess it's kind of like a fun kit to use or you could possibly come up with a few strategies with this I don't really know um, but yeah those are the four new kits for solo mode and these are also implemented in team mode as well the four same kits uh, and that's all for those two game modes uh, there is no new kits uh, for ranked mode um, but for mega we do have a few new kits as well uh, we do have the fisherman kit uh, which gives you a uh, lure 3 luck of the sea unbreaking fishing rod and uh, water bucket iron boots with depth strider 2 and an iron helmet it's kind of a variety of things I don't really know what this would be used for um, but that's really what the fisherman is I guess it's just you get a fishing rod and uh, some other stuff. I don't really know. Uh, kind of a useless kit in my opinion, but I don't, I don't play Mega, so I can't really talk there. Um, but the last kit uh, that we do have is the Pyromaniac kit. You start out with an Iron Axe with Fire Aspect 1, a Flint and Steel, 
Uh, you get a fire res potion for 600 seconds. That's actually 10 minutes. Uh, if you guys couldn't do the math, uh, that's what it is. And you also get a leather chest plate with some uh, enchantments and leather leggings as well. Um, so yeah, that does wrap it up for the perks and kits category of the update. And now let's actually get into the fun stuff. All right, guys. So the main feature that they did add in the Skywars update is the laboratory. It's a laboratory. It's kind of a tough word to say. Laboratory? Not I don't really know. Uh, but yeah, this is the new thing that they have added into Skywars. Basically, if we click on this guy here, you can play in solo or team mode. Uh, we're going to go ahead and play some solo. And basically, there are five new, like, arcade type of Skywars games. And then this is, like, a coming soon thing. But yeah, these are five new, like, arcade games, I guess you could call them. It's kind of like an arcade version of Skywars, um, but it's uh, a different aspect to Skywars. So you have Blizzard, TNT Madness, Rush, Floor is Lava, and... And kill by color now I have played all these games and I have found kill by color to actually be my favorite one so we're gonna go ahead and play a few rounds of this uh, today and I'll get into some of these other games uh, in a different video um, we're gonna go ahead and play some kill by color because I've actually had a ton of fun with this uh, I was playing with my friend earlier uh, and th this game very unique uh, all, all five arcade games are very unique in their own way um, but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and wait for the game to start and I'll see you guys in a second Alright guys, the game is about to start here, and basically, the uh, point of this game is, basically, if you run out of armor, you are dead meat, basically. So, uh, you need to get, like, armor, you need to stock up on armor, and basically, once you have no armor on your body, basically, you die, uh, instantaneously. Um, but basically, the point of this game is to kill, um, players, uh, using the dyes that we have here, as you can see. Uh, I'm just, com like, switching the color of uh, the die and hitting them uh, with that whichever color they have on their body basically so uh, as you can see I have four colors of die that I hit people with and I have uh, some armor on so basically people need to try and hit me with a specific color uh, just to uh, kill me basically uh, I found that hitting people into the void is actually a very uh, good strategy as well with this game mode um, but basically we gotta just hit this guy with cyan yellow and a green now Let's go, come on, and there it goes, into the void. Uh, the void is basically the best strategy, in my opinion. Uh, if you can just find a good place to hit people off into the void, that would be my recommendation. Um, but yeah, we just got that kill right there, and switch to Cyan, get his chest plate off, and uh, get his pants, and he is now dead. And uh, that's basically uh, the point to this game. Uh, it's, it's very unique. It's, it's very original. Uh, we'll give Hypixel that. Um, it is really cool. Um, you also have some other things like this potion that I have in my hand that basically if I splash somebody with it, uh, it'll make uh, all of their armor the same exact color, which is very useful because then we can just stick with one color and beat them up. Uh, so that can be very useful. Um, and we also have this salmon here, which allows us to change uh, the color of all of my armor that I have in my inventory and on my body as well. Um, let's go ahead and go in with the green here. Uh, no more oh, wait, crap, I'm so dead. Okay, um, yeah, I, I think I'm just going to run here. I'm going to run. If this guy hits me with a green die, I'm toast. So, um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and just uh, splash that. Um, I missed, so I'm really good at this game, as you guys can see. But uh, there is also another guy that I don't know where he is. But, um, yeah, we just got to keep running here. Let's see. I don't know what I can do here. Um, but let's go ahead and just block ourselves up with these color blocks, I guess. And, oh, we died. Okay, well, um, that was an okay first game. Uh, basically, I showed you guys how to play. And we're going to go ahead and hop into another game. Alright guys, so I do need to get some redemption from that last game. I kind of played it poorly there at the end, um, but I was kind of out of armor anyway, so it didn't really matter. Uh, I was basically a one-shot. Um, but yeah, so basically, now that I've showed you guys the basics of this game, let's go ahead and actually get into this. Um, basically, I did not mention in the last round, um, but mid actually does have some, like, really... Okay, I almost died there. Uh, it does have some very crucial loot that is needed. It has tons of armor, and it has these potions and the salmon as well uh, that we do need. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and casually knock this guy in the void, maybe. I don't know. Um, let's go ahead. And just Yeah, let's knock him in the void. Uh, like I said, the void is a very crucial way to uh, win this game mode. It's just very, very useful, in my opinion. And um, we're going to go ahead and... Uh-oh. I have no more armor. Wait. Okay, I, apparently there's a limit to how much armor you can have in your inventory. Um, dude, we're getting, like, beat up here. Okay, we're going to splash this potion. Okay, this guy has only yellow gear now. Okay, that didn't really matter. 
See, like, this is what I'm talking about. The Void is killer. That guy had no gear, but he still managed to knock us into the Void. Well played. Alright, guys, I really do need to redeem myself, uh, because we have gone 0 for 2 so while playing this. So we do need to get back up and actually start winning a few games here. But, uh, like I said, or I don't think I've said this, actually, um, th this game doesn't require too much skill. Like, to be honest, it's... You basically just walk around and punch people with a freaking die. You know, you just have to punch them. And you can just easily punch them in the void as well. There's not really too much skill required, uh, in my opinion. So, uh, you know, it's like all based on where you are at a certain time. It, it's still fun, though. Uh, I, I will say it's original as well. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and go over here. And, um, like I said, hearts don't even matter. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and punch people in the void. Who, who even cares? To be honest, um, let's go ahead and punch this guy. Let's get him with some red. Why not? Uh, and some cyan as well. Um, sir, are you going to like die here? There we go. All right. Um, so we do have three clownfish to uh, color change our gear. And um, yeah, so that's good. Uh, let's go ahead and get some more backup gear and another one of these potions. Uh, I don't think I've actually showed off the potion yet. Or maybe I have. I don't remember. I've played quite a few games and can't get a good round. So that's why I'm kind of struggling here. But yeah, let's go ahead. And we only have two guys left, so that's good. Oh, wait. I see some people over there. Two guys. Okay, well, he just killed a guy. Uh, let's go ahead and go for him. He only has some, like, half yellow. Half yellow stuff. Come on. We got him. We got him. We got him. Come on. We're so close. We're so close. Come back here. No, 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 no. Come on. Come on. Wait. Did he just blast himself with that? What? That is so weird. Okay, uh, sir, just calm yourself down. We, all we need to do is hit him with a cyan. We just gotta hit him with a cyan. There we go. We finally got a good game. We only did get three kills, but that is all right. I've been kind of struggling to actually get a win here. Uh, and uh, we finally did get one, so that is good. Um, yeah, guys, I think it's gonna wrap it up for this video of the you know Skywards update. I basically went over everything except all of the uh, games in the laboratory. I will get into those in a future video. As you can see, we still have Blizzard, TNT Madness, Rush, and Flores Lava to go over. We already did Kill by Color, which is still a very fun game mode. Um, but I'll get into the other ones into another video. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this little Skywards update video. I'm sure a ton of people are doing these, so mine's probably not, you know, the best out of all of them, obviously. Um, but hopefully you guys still did enjoy the video. And guys, I will talk to you later. Have a nice day, guys. Peace out.